Hey, Nico. I've been wanting to talk to you all day. I wanted to get everybody back together. And I know that it, that it can't be like it was. The truth, I miss you guys. I could build a big machine. I hope you're right about this not being a big deal. The last thing they're interested in is what their parents are doing. You gonna let us in? Who are they? Why is my mom's purse here? What kind of charity meeting is this? None of our parents are who we thought. Something really weird is going on. I have so many questions. No matter what we are, we can't let our parents keep getting away with this stuff. We cannot let anyone undermine what we're doing. We're gonna need another sacrifice. These kids are living on borrowed time. to stop this. No one else will. Guys, we are so excited to have Lyrica Kano here. Give her a round of applause. Here oh, to talk about Marvel's Runaways. Coming. Thank you. Here to talk about Marvel's Runaways. I mean, how does it feel to have the show coming out now and having the, the audience able to see it? I, um, I pinch myself every day. Uh, it feels like a dream. And I just feel so lucky to, you know, be in the place that I am at right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, tell us a little bit about getting the role and, and first hearing about it. Um, well, I auditioned for the part in New York. And um, all that I knew about it was that it was for Marvel and that they were looking for a, a Japanese American to play the role. They're always so secretive, right? They're very secretive. <laughs> um, and I just, I basically was told that these sides were probably never going to be used in the show, anyways. And I, I should just, you know. So I did my job as an actor and I kind of researched Marvel Japanese American. And Nico Minoru's name popped up mm. and was like pretty much one of the only names that popped up. And that was, you know, so it was easy for me to figure out who I was going to be. You did playing. a little detective work, you I'll, said. I did a little bit of that. <laughs> and yeah, and I just kind of, I, I really I really related to the character. I felt like I knew her, even from just the little information that I got from the sides. And mm. um, I went in, and then the next day, I got a call that they wanted me to fly out to LA to screen test for Marvel and Hulu. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but it was really strange, because I, um, I usually get really nervous for auditions, auditions, especially for something so big. Mm. But when I went in that room and saw everybody and was doing the scenes, I, f I felt like, I felt really comfortable and I felt pretty confident and yeah, it was, it was, it was a very strange feeling, but it was a good feeling. Yeah. I mean, for people who don't know, sides are like bits sides, of dialogue, yeah. you so, know, sort of like scenes. I mean, so, what were the scenes like that you had to do? Um, I don't know if I can say, I, can I say, uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to be in the show, but it was just a small scene um, about, it was with Alex and Nico, mm -hmm. and they were, I guess, trying to figure out how to work the staff. I guess that is in the show, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it was, it's been a little bit tweaked. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and a scene with her, uh, Nico and Tina, her mom, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like this, she's confronting her about something, and, <laughs> yeah. So you're yelling at people. I just, just being really angry, <laughs> ye yelling all the time, no. I mean, did you, uh, when you saw the photos, when you did that little research, you saw, obviously, the wardrobe and, and yeah, a particular the, look. The did comic, you, yeah. When you went to the audition, did you sort of dress up a little bit like that? Sort or? of dressed up like it. No, I dressed up. <laughs> I had red eyeliner on under my eyes, and I had, like, layers of chokers and, like, layers of fishnet tights and ripped up shorts and all of that. I I was I all really that, wanted this yeah. part. <laughs> yeah. So they you walked in the door and they were like, oh she figured out who we're talking about right now. I hope so. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping they thought. Yeah. So how did it feel to finally get that call and, and when were you guys when did you guys start after that? They were pretty quick, <sighs> right? It, everything was very fast. I came back the next day after the screen test in New York and then waited for about a week, which is killer. 
I, like, that was the hardest week of my sleep, life. Were you able to or you just no, sort of checking I Google to see if somebody else I kept, it? I was calling my managers every day and just checking up on what was happening. And um, after the end of the week, they I got a call from my manager saying that I should be expecting a call from Marvel. And then Jeff Loeb from Marvel calls, and then he says, I have three words for you. Welcome to Marvel. <sighs> Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I mean, that's uh, that'd be really upsetting if he called you and said, sorry, you didn't get it. Yeah, that would really <laughs> suck. That'd be like, that'd okay, be really well, there's no need to call me to tell me that, but thanks. Yeah. What did you think when you first saw you know, a first script for that first episode? It was... I, I totally... I, like, I felt like I understood the tone of what they wanted, and it was so different from any other Marvel show that I've seen, and it's just you know, taking place in L.A., and about a group of teenagers. It's, it, it's, I felt like, yo, we're doing a very new kind of Marvel show. And it was really exciting. It's like the Avengers meets uh, the OC kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. It's like a teen drama teen while drama. being a supernatural thing. I mean, exactly. is, that, is that what yeah. they told you? Is that what they were going yeah. for a bit? Yeah, and also the director for the first episode, Brett Morgan, who's like known for... Um, great documentaries. Great documentaries like Montage of Heck. Jane, he just got a, you know, a short yeah. list for the Oscars. Yeah. yeah, I was there for the premiere with him and it was really nice seeing him there. But uh, yeah, he's um, he's kind of, he's very grungy and you know, and after meeting him, I was like, okay, now I understand mm -hmm. what they want for the, pi for the pilot. And so, yeah, it felt very real. And yeah, and that pilot's uh, titled Reunion, but you yeah. guys all sort of get together. I mean, how did it feel like to gel with the cast and meet everybody? Um, I've never, like, I didn't have a chemistry read with any of them. And so the first time I met him, it was for, like, the camera test, you know, the wardrobe test. And then the second time we met up, that was when we really hung out and we had dinner together. And it just made sense. Mm. Like, I just thought, wow, Patrick Rush really, really had a vision for what he wanted with the Runaways. And he really made that happen for us so did you guys yeah. end up hanging in between sets and uh, yeah, doing shoots all the time um ariella i don't drive i can't drive because i'm from here you're a true new yorker i'm a true fact. new yorker i tried to learn how to drive it didn't work out and then i went to la and so um ariella who plays gert on our show really helped me out and was driving me everywhere mm. during um while we were shooting the pilot and so we really bonded through that and then, um, yeah, we also, the whole cast, we, we stayed at an Airbnb together for a week just because. Wait, what? Yeah. You'd think that we'd what get tired like? of each other, but I don't know. After spending 13 hours on, a, on set, we just decided to get a house together and kind of. Who was the cook? Who was, uh, is everyone having fun? Ariella or? was the cook. Greg was the mood maker. Renzi chose the mood. Greg was Sulkin the DJ. made the mood. How do you do that? He just he's just Greg Sulkin, you know? <laughs> he just, you know, he lights up the room. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, Allegra was too young to stay with us, but you know, she was there in spirit. Did she feel left out? I don't know. <laughs> I I hope not. But I love Allegra. I miss her so much. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, what was your favorite first scene that you got to do? I mean, the re something that you actually got to dig deep on. The first, I mean, the first scene that I did mm -hmm. for the show was the scene with um, Nico and Tina, mm -hmm. where Nico knocks over Amy's trophy, and then you know Tina is just like, "Get out of here." <laughs> so that was the first scene we took, and then we did the montage scene after that, and yeah, I think. My favorite scene, I should be saying it was with all the other castmates, but for the pilot, like I didn't, I didn't have much with them, or I, I was always just kind of alone, mm. and so that the seance scene on the at the beach was, I, I still remember that, and it was it was pretty it was pretty amazing shooting that. Now, did you go back and sort of read all the comics that had re been released so far to sort of get an idea of where the, the plot was might go? I yeah. mean, obviously, they defer a little bit, but... Right. I mean, um, for before the screen test even happened, I read the first volume. Mm. And then I read the second volume after um, I knew that I had gotten the role. Mm. Yeah. And I know that there's, like, new comics coming out. I've I read a little bit of them, but I haven't really... Do you buy the new ones when they come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ordered them online. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. Do you ever see anything in the character that you're like, oh, I'd love to do that. I hope we get to do this scene or. Yeah. Yeah. I um, there's so. Yeah. It's just because, you know, this is the first season and mm. it's a slow burn. Mm. Um, I know that I can't I can't be expecting, you know, to do all of what I've 
been wanting. Do you ever like to do. slide a comic into the writers' room, sort of under the? Oh, uh, I mean, like I would talk to Josh and Stephanie relentlessly about my ideas or whatever because they, I wouldn't even know what would happen um, for the next episode. Like we would only know when we get the script for the next episode, which is pretty much like two days before we start shooting that episode. Mm. So um, yeah, everything was a mystery to us. So we'd kind of like bother Josh Schwartz and Stephanie Savage about. Mm what would be happening and what could be happening and yeah. Yeah, I mean, what was it like to start to work with the parents? Because obviously they, their their storyline isn't covered in the in the comics really. Right, so this right. is like a whole other element uh, that you guys are adding with the show. Yeah, I mean, I would get the script and I would read, I would be at the table read with everybody. So I would get a general sense of what is happening with the parents. But then I feel like every week when I watch the new episode, watch a new episode come out, that's when I'm like, oh, that's what was really happening. Mm. Like, I was never able to connect that in my head, which I think is what Marvel, Josh, and Stephanie wanted mm. for us to not know too much. How do you get along with your uh, on-screen parents? I hate them. No, I don't know. I love them. I'm in, I'm like James uh, Yaigashi. We bonded over the fact that we were both from New York, mm. and he and I were staying at the same hotel while shooting the first episode, mm. and we just kind of... Yeah, he's he treats me like his uh, his little daughter. That's not so little. <laughs> um, and Brittany is mm -hmm. incredible. She's an incredible human being. She's just like this ball of sunshine, and she's just always positive. When everyone else is so tired on set, she's the one kind of handing out cookies and mm -hmm. making sure everyone's okay. I, I'm really lucky. How was it like? How did it feel to have that first episode that you were talking about come out? I mean, in the show here at uh, New York Comic Con, right? That was sort of the that first the Comic Con first, experience. Right. And that was the first time we saw the final edit of the... Were you nervous at all? We were freaking out. We were like, are you sure this is a good idea? There's a lot of people here. <laughs> and oh, really great? Or Yeah. And it was like while we were shooting the season, we weren't finished shoot shooting the season when we were at Comic-Con. So we were just kind of like, mm. what? Are, I don't know what to expect. But we, the reaction was great, and it was just so humbling, and it, yeah, amazing experience. I mean, what was the, the best uh, sort of reaction you got or a fan that approached you, or you know, did you see any people uh, dressed up as Nico? Because that's a that's gonna um, be a cosplay. I feel like standard now. I I think I I wasn't I didn't run into anybody dressed as Nico, but on Instagram I, I'd be tagged in stuff, and I there there were definitely people there dressed up as Nico. Mm. Yeah, and the show wasn't even out then. Yeah, Are people so. tagging you a lot in photos of them uh, dressing up in different Comic Cons? Yeah, or, or they uh, fan art mm. is incredible. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a whole wealth of it on Instagram and yeah. social media. It's so interesting to see Are everything. Are people sending it to you? or? Yeah, and I get DMs, and I'm like <laughs> slipping a little thank you. and. Yeah, I love them. Do you ever want to like print them out and put them on your wall or something like that? I or feel like I would love to. I would love to, but then I'm like, does that make me a narcissist? <laughs> no, it just People means that I love the show. People walk in and there's just a bunch of Nico. Uh, I'm gonna photos. do that. I'm gonna start printing them out and posting them on my room. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you I'm know, like to this. Do that. You could start with this. This my poster hand. is pretty great. Yeah. I mean, that's your hand. That's pretty fantastic. You have yeah. the staff there. I mean, how's it like working with those scenes and, and doing the staff and people staff sort of discovering? Of yeah, exactly. It's it's. It's, it was also me discovering how to work with it as well because it's kind of a difficult process. There's like four different versions of the staff, one being the short version of it and then the other being the extended and then the one being, another one being the lighted up version of the short one and then, you know, so on. And it would just be me doing the scene and then pausing at a certain line and then having so, the prop, someone from props like interchange the two staffs and then continue on like nothing happened kind of thing we do that over and over again do you ever have like are you already thinking i'm going to grab that you know when we're when we're wrapped up you know grab am the i going to grab one of the staffs and no. take it home they kept reminding me like they're like this stuff is expensive like please do not drop this yeah, like we can't, we're not allowed to break anything. How about the wardrobe? Obviously, there's some uh, some pretty cool pieces in there. Yeah, I, I would, I wish I was more of a badass and I wish I could just be able to take things from this up, but I, I really didn't take anything home. I'm so mad. Maybe for the next season, if it happens. Well, now people have seen the sixth episode and, and we're getting ready to see the the seventh and uh, I think two next Tuesday. So that yeah. should be exciting. I mean, what, what can people look out for? I mean, obviously there was a lot reveal in the sixth episode. Let's talk about that a little bit. The sixth episode, the reveal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. My dad, mm -hmm. what's going on? 
The one guy that I trusted. Hmm. And mom? She nice now? Everyone's sort of yeah, betraying hot, everybody. Cold. Yeah, I'm like a little confused. I think Nico's a, Nico's got has a lot of things to think about, and mm. yeah, she's got a lot of thinking to do. And Alex, he's being mad shady. <laughs> What's that about? Passcode being a passcode? That don't sound real. I don't know. I mean, that whole thing where you, I mean, I think people were excited to see you guys sort of get together. You guys, the characters had known each other for a while. You know, yeah, we're, you starting and Alex, to, yeah. we're starting to have some teamwork involved. And yeah, I think Nico's very, Nico's wanted this. Nico's wanted to kind of regroup with everybody, but she's not so um, good about reaching out to people and showing how she really feels. So it was really nice for her to have someone like Alex to be the one to get everybody back together. Yeah. And uh, Carolina, let's talk about that scene a little bit. The, with the, the insinuations there and where, where that might go. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know where it could go. Um, I can say that Nico uh, feels deeply connected to Carolina and there's, there's something there. Um, we'll see. We'll see. That's all you can say, right? That's all I can say. That's all Marvel is just that machine, <laughs> think, right? Yeah, not yeah. Not saying more than that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But I mean, I can tell you that Ginny and I, Ginny who plays Carolina, we read the comics and we were, from the very beginning, before we started shooting the pilot, we were talking about Nico and Carolina's relationship with each other and how important that was to us and important to the fans. And so we really wanted to honor that, even though we didn't know how the characters were going to end up, you know, being with who or whatever. But, yeah, we were we were pestering Josh and Stephanie about they have to. Yeah, I mean, the original creator, right, of The Runaways is involved. And so yeah, the, and so... The, what, did you get to talk to him about it and the character? Well, um, about... To, with Brian? Mm -hmm. I didn't get to talk to him that much. He was on set once, I think, and then he visited... He visited twice, but we were never able to really talk to him too much. But he he's um, he talks a lot with Josh and Stephanie, and then we kind of communicate through, you know, our showrunners. Let's talk about somebody else who visited set, Stan Lee. I mean, what is it like to meet the guy? I was so guy. scared, but he is the nicest person ever. He's such a legend. And we were in makeup and hair, the trailer, and we were just getting, you know, ready. And then Stanley walks in and sits right next to me. And I'm just like, <laughs> is that okay? Shouldn't he have his own trailer? Like, is he allowed to be, you know, are we allowed to be sitting in the same trailer with him? And he was just so nice. Mm. Yeah, and he was. What's small talk with Stanley like? For people who talk? never meet Stanley, I don't know. I blacked us. out. I, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I was not a human being there. I was just kind of like, phone pictures. I like we you and respect you. Yeah, he's the sweetest man. I mean, did they tell you that? I mean, when did you find out he was going to be doing his? Uh, I mean, he's pretty infamous for his cameos in the Marvel universe. But uh, when did you find out he was going to actually? Oh yeah, you're going to be driven in a limo. And by the way, the limo is going to be driven by Stanley. I can't remember how we found out. I think, I think while we were shooting the episode previous to that one. I think one of, I think either Josh or Stephanie or someone from Marvel kind of like hinted at the fact that, like, you know, Stan Lee's known to make a cameo on some Marvel Just throwing films. throwing it out there. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh, isn't there a dr like a random driver in that limo scene? Wouldn't that be nice? And we're just like, Stan Lee's coming. Yeah. It's so perfect. I mean, how is it like to keep secrets like that? I mean, that thing, that's the thing with this show. Yeah, is like our show is all about secrets. It's all about secrets. And some shows like this, you know, they all drop and the, everyone's able to talk about it, but you're you're airing on specific dates. And do you ever get confused? Oh, I can't talk about this. Or friends I, are asking you what's going on. Yeah, I get really confused. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of secrets. And so when we were at Comic-Con mm. and we were like, everyone was seeing the pilot for the first time, but we were being asked questions it was just like i don't know i feel like we're going to be in trouble by just saying anything mm. and now that the fi the show is finally starting to come out i feel a bit more comfortable talking about mm. things but i'm still like Ugh. i'm sure it's even getting crazier though because i mean people are coming up with their own theories they're tweeting them at you i saw it on social media yeah as and i'm so as... tempted to be like yes no <laughs> definitely not yeah but smiley face to a plot point or something although like i that. have done that and i feel like i should have you ever have liked a trouble. tweet or something like that you probably shouldn't have liked because i like i like yeah, I like too many tweets. 
a lot about, yeah, Carolina and Nico. So what, that's because yeah. I'm a fan of them. Of course. Yeah. I mean, you know, tell us what we can expect. Though. I mean, there. I mean, imagine obviously the the actions getting more intense, the dramas getting more intense. Yeah. I imagine there's going to be some scenes, uh, some yeah, fights. Yeah, there's there's a there's a huge battle scene coming up. Um, I'm not going to tell you which episode, but it's coming up. Mm. And um, yeah, things get more intense, and you'll find a lot more about the parents and about the kids and about Amy and yeah things are, are about you guys to get all real. talking are you guys like on a group text or something like every that every day so Ariella calls me Ariella and Allegra uh, Allegra playing uh, she plays Molly they both FaceTime me after each episode comes out and so it's kind of like balancing between yeah but we talk a lot and we all have a group chat that we pretty much use every single day just to check up on each other. Has it feel to sort of people recognize you on the street at all? Or Nobody around? has recognized me on the street. Are you kidding? <laughs> you have to go to Comic Con, and that's it. oh, are yeah. you serious? Is it? It's probably the wardrobe situation. No, I also I'm gonna say that it's probably be, I don't think I look, mm. you know, the same. I don't know. Do I look like my character? Fan right votes. Now? There we go. We're getting yeah. we're getting nods. You're like, actually, yeah, yeah, you do. We're getting nods. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was in the subway station and I saw like a big poster of the show, <laughs> and I took you a started. selfie, pointed at my face, and nobody cared. <laughs> but it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> you should just sort of like walk and, and just sit there and just see I, how long it takes. Yeah, and then I, my friend was like, you know, you have to look like the character. So I'm gonna one. I'm just gonna put a lot of dark eyeshadow, eyeliner, all of it on, and then if they still don't recognize me. That I'm going home. <laughs> Are you excited to go to more Comic Cons and sort of meet with the yeah. fans in that way? No, I love Comic Con. Just feeling all that love and excitement, it's just unreal. And yeah, I couldn't be more thankful of the fans. I love I love Comic Con. I mean, one of the things the fans are saying is season two. Are we going to get? I mean, what are we going to get? I don't know. Come on. You asking the tell wrong them you person. Want it, everybody. Tell I don't them, know. Tell them we want it. Absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> That's all Honestly, you can say, I, I, I would tell you, but I, I really don't know. But well, we have some other questions in the audience right now, so we're going to start right there. Hi. Hi there. Uh, so apart from the powers you already have on the show, if you could have any other power, what would, you, what would it be and why? Uh, I think I would like to have the power, the ability to make food, really good food, instantly. Do you know how many times I've been like starving, wanting really good food, and I, I like, just reminded myself that I'm an adult now, and there's no, I don't have a mom cooking for me anymore, and it makes me sad. So uh, yeah, definitely the ability to make food instantly. That's a great one. I love yeah. that one. Uh, next question. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, you know, with all the different Marvel projects that have already been out or are coming up, I mean, why? Do you want to make the runway so different from the other Marvel projects? I mean, what makes it so different from everything else? Well, I think it's different because I don't think we've had a Marvel show about teenagers and about, and especially because we're this group of teenagers that are kind of not reluctant about, you know, ex exploring our powers, but just kind of thrust into this horrible situation and like having to deal with it. You guys aren't excited to find out usually. You, what, what do you mean? What do you, you mean? You guys aren't usually excited to find out about the powers and everything involved. Well, we with would it. be if we didn't have to find out from seeing that our parents <laughs> are potentially killing all these teenagers, you know. So um, I think that's just already interesting. And having, you know, this take place in LA, it makes it so that we're a group of kids that's completely isolated from the whole world of like Jessica Jones and mm. Iron Fist and all these big people here. And so we're kind of forced to just deal with it ourselves and, and really group up and band together. I think that's interesting. Absolutely. OK, mm -hmm. one last question. Hi. Hi. Um, so like being that your character is uh, a bit different than from the comics, like yeah. uh, how important was it to you know, showcase that character while at the same time mm -hmm. trying not to be too right. sensitive to like what she's been going through in yeah. the comics? I, um, yeah, that was something that I really had to think about because I read the comics mm -hmm. and I really fell in love with Nico from the comics. But of course, because of Nico's back, his backstory and with what happened with Amy, her sister, it could, I couldn't have just done it straight out of the comic book. I would, I, I'd have to put some thought into it. And I talked to Josh and Stephanie about it and they were just like, this is, Nico is yours. Mm -hmm. And 
you just have to do your job as an actor to make her as human as possible. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing, I think. And hopefully it works. Doing a great out. job of it. Yeah. Now, guys, watch Lyrica as uh, Nico on Marvel's Runaways. Give her a round of applause. It's on Hulu Thank now. You. Every Tuesday, check it out. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you it. for having me.